Hi, my name is Kalashi De Silva and I am a Junior Product Manager at Tiden Surgical Innovations. And today I will be walking you through a few tips and tricks to properly maintain your Phantom AL Anterior Lumbar Surgical Access System. If you would like more information on this system, you can visit our website or YouTube channel for video tutorials on the setup and overview. The first product we will be walking through is the Phantom AL Retractor Ring, product number AL100. So the assembly of this retractor ring should be done on a sterile mayo stand away from the OR table. The first step to assembling these two halves is to make sure that both screws on either half of the retractor ring are loosened to stop. This will allow both halves to seamlessly interface when connecting them together. The next step will be to tighten the screws to create the full AL100 ring. To tighten the screws, you're going to again use your ML0505 hex tool and tighten only to stop. If you feel any resistance while doing this, you should stop and loosen and go back because the resistance may cause cross threading. And that is how you assemble the AL100 retractor ring. To disassemble your Phantom AL retractor ring, you'll once again put it on a sterile mayo stand, ensuring that it is on a flat and level surface. In order to pull both of the halves apart, you first want to make sure that both screws are completely loosened. You can then pull both of the halves apart with minimal resistance. Once you've assembled your Phantom AL articulating arm, open the ring clamp portion by loosening the hex screw with two fingers, ensuring that the screw does not fall out. Open the ring clamp and then introduce your Phantom AL ring. Identify the marking that says attach rigid arm here. Insert that portion of the ring into the ring clamp and then close the ring clamp and initially tighten with two fingers. Once you reach resistance, introduce your Phantom AL hex wrench to continue tightening the hex screw. In order to ensure that you do not force pass stop, a good trick is to use the hex wrench with two fingers. The next product I will be walking you through is our Phantom AL ring clamp, product number AL0103. The first thing to keep in mind when using the AL0103 ring clamp is the knob at the top. This knob, when you're loosening or tightening, those adjustments affect both the interface of the ring clamp onto the ring, as well as the interface of the ring clamp onto the blade holder. So your first step when assembling this will be to make sure that this knob is fully loosened to stop and make sure that you're not using any excessive force. So once it's fully loosened to stop, you can easily snap it on to the ring. One thing to keep in mind and notice when assembling this um, ALO 103 ring clamp is to make sure that the loop of your blade holder is pointing away from the ring clamp. This will ensure that if a further reach is needed, you can use the rest of that extension for more of a reach. The next product I will be walking you through is our Phantom AO blade holder. Once you've assembled the blade to the blade holder, you'll notice that when the hex screw is in a fully loosened position, the blade can be freely moving. In order to have more control when inserting this assembly into the surgical site, take your Phantom AL hex wrench and tighten the screw so that you achieve just enough resistance to have more control. This will allow you to do the pivoting mechanism with more control in the site. The last product I will be walking you through is our reusable light cable with prong bushing product number ML58. We do also have a single use option available, product number 46. Um, one thing to keep in mind when using this light cable, prior to bringing it into a procedure, 
you should refer to our IFU to ensure that there is at least a 50% output of light from the light cables before using it in a procedure. Once that has been noted, you can then take your light cable, wrap it around the flex arm to ensure that there are no hanging cables so that it will stay out of the way of the surgeon, and then take your prong bushing and insert it into the holes of the light cable.